Welcome to my channel. Dear God, are we there yet? You guys, if you haven't listened to the podcast for today, um, every Tuesday, uh, Dear God, are we there yet? And this is Community is for Everyone, talking about budgets and business, self-growth, and my passion to empower. So, we're going to talk about procrastination today. So, I'm making this really quick... Um, little I don't even know what it's called because I owe you a video this week um, so I wanted to make this really quick video about something super important that I've been reading about and you're probably reading about and it's called procrastination procrastination in your goals procrastination in whatever it is that you want to do in your life and um, some people might not have goals which is fine but procrastination in anything can be anything really why do we do it why do we procrastinate why do we constantly um, set it to the side or be like BRB or do it later I do this all the time um, and sometimes I ask myself, like, Alisa, why are you doing this? Um, and yeah, I don't know why I do it. I think I do it because sometimes um, it's a natural thing that we have. It's a natural feeling. It's a natural um, kind of like that little ticking thing that says it can be done later. Like, just enjoy life. Do it now. Don't, uh, don't do it now. It's okay. But let me tell you something, you guys. Let me tell you something. Procrastination is the death of anything that you want. The day and the time that you say, I'll do it later, that could have been one time, an hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that could have been closer to whatever it is that you want to do. And sometimes I tell myself, I try to like get out of my head and I try to tell myself like, okay, if I do it tomorrow, maybe tomorrow is going to be the right time. And I am human just like you. And this happens to me, especially when it comes to do with the Dear God, Are We There Yet movement. And I think it's something that I am trying to breathe through. So if you check out my podcast, um, we, have an, we had an amazing person and she talked about changing your life through breath and through breathing. And and um, consciously, I've been thinking about that, like whatever it in my mind, it's making me procrastinate. I need to like erase it with why I need to do it now and not later. So I'm going to challenge you guys a quick, I'm just going to challenge you to whatever it is that you're procrastinating in your mind right now, like ask yourself this question. Why am I procrastinating and what is the fear or the emotion behind the procrastination? Procrastination. What is the emotion behind it? And I'm coming to realization um, just the past week that when I'm writing things, I'm telling myself, what is that emotion that's attached to it? Why, why am I feeling that I need to do this later or why I can't pitch this or call this person or email this person? And I'm telling myself, what is the emotion? Because it's not about just doing it and saying it and seeing these beautiful things on Instagram and YouTube and motivation, motivation. I motivate you guys. I, I motivate myself. But um, even in the Dear God Are We There Yet movement, when I was writing the book, it's like, yeah, these motivations are great. But what is the emotion attached to these um, these actions or why we're not doing something or why we are doing something? So this is just a little quick video um, to kind of get you in the gear that it's, first of all, it's okay. Everybody procrastinates. Two, there is an emotion behind this procrastination. What is that? And how can we get out of it? And three, just think of it. With all the moments that you keep thinking about doing it, you could have been doing it. And that could have gotten you closer to whatever it is that you want to do. All right, you guys. Talk to you later.